Every day when we plan this show, we look at headlines and inputs from the world over. And for the last two months, the headlines from every country have been quite similar. Rising cases, soaring death toll, economic collapse, human suffering. But the headlines from China have carried only positive messages, largely. The message of normalcy, the message of things being under control, the message of how Beijing has won the battle against the Wuhan virus. Today, there were no such headlines, though. Because the virus has resurfaced in China, a fresh coronavirus outbreak has been reported in Beijing. And Beijing is the epicenter. 79 new cases have been recorded in the city in the last four days. 79. Well, this is the biggest concentration of infections since the month of February. The city has also reported its highest daily infection count since March. And the same script is playing out once again. You may think 79 is not a big number, but listen to this. This outbreak has once again been linked to a market. Shinfadi, it's a sprawling wholesale food market located in southwestern Beijing. The rise in infections is said to be linked to a cluster of cases traced back to this market. Now, reports say at least 46,000 people visited this market in recent days. 46,000. Beijing is testing everybody who came in contact with these people. We have temporarily shut down the market and carried out nucleic acid tests on everyone related. The Yukondong market was closed at 8 on Saturday for disinfection work. We have now collected samples and tested all of the people linked to the market, as well as the environment inside and outside. Officials say they're working on a war footing. The district around this affected market supplies 70% of Beijing's food, so a shutdown here would pose serious challenges for China's capital. The residents are again queuing up for testing. The curbs have once again been imposed. The curfew has once again been clamped in certain areas. Ten more areas in Beijing have been put under lockdown. And like always, the blame too is being shifted. Apparently this time, the virus did not, is not local. But it's of an alien type. The Global Times has carried a bizarre story to this effect. Their report reads, and I quote, the novel coronavirus was detected on a chopping board used by a seller of imported salmon at the Shinfadi market. China imports 80,000 tons of chilled and frozen salmon every year from Chile, Norway, Australia and Canada. In a nutshell, China is passing the buck again. And before anyone raises the contaminated environment of its markets, China is suggesting that the infection came from outside. Meanwhile, the news is spreading along with the virus, and it has struck markets of another kind, the stock markets. They are tanking. Investors are anxious. This outbreak has shattered China's narrative of normalcy. Oil prices were massively down today. The West Texas Intermediate and Brent fell by around 2%. Dow Jones, the S&P, Nasdaq, they all plunged at the opening. Experts say the catalyst has been the news of what's happening in Beijing. So is this a second wave? And who is to blame for this? China is very clear. It will not take responsibility, but then China never has. It did not shut down its wet markets despite repeated calls for closure. We call these markets incubators of deadly disease. China and the WHO said that they were just an affordable source of food. China has underreported its cases, it lied about recovery, it beamed images of opening up, complete with light shows, through open tourist destinations, the Forbidden City and the Great Wall, claimed its factories are up and running, an economy kicking into gear. So was the so-called victory celebration against this virus premature? If nothing else, it would be embarrassing. Because China's diplomats have been bragging about their country's success in fighting the virus, even dispensing advice to others. An outbreak in Beijing does not reflect well. The repercussions are multiple. There are reports of a consumer boycott of salmon throughout the country now. The western city of Chengdu has reportedly suspended imports of all raw food supplies, including poultry and seafood. Inspection has become more stringent. Reports say some flights bringing salmon have also been stopped. The Beijing outbreak has put the rest of China on high alert and the world too. Remember, borders are being opened in Europe. Can they afford another wave from China? Beijing is a developing story and we hope that the spread is contained.